everybody we're making a smoky barbecue meatless meatloaf today and I have prepped a little bit of things ahead of time I have a uh, one onion two small uh, red peppers um, two small carrots uh, two sticks of celery and a half an eggplant all sauteed on a very very low heat just to make the vegetables soft so here we go I have one cup of oats, which I'm gonna blend and make like a, an oat uh, flour. I have one cup of cornmeal. And in here, you guys will see, I'll flip it this way. I have three different colors of beans. I have black beans, I have um, white beans, and I have pinto beans, and I also have um, dark red kidney beans. So all of this mixed together is gonna make a beautiful dish. So I'm gonna blend right now um, my oats and my corn flour together first and then I'm going to add vegetables to that and now all that mixture is going to be added directly into our bean mixture okay and season well the key in this meatless loaf is to have it seasoned extremely well so off we go I'm gonna add some salt directly to them and you guys can experiment with different spices I'm gonna add some pepper to the vegetables and I'm gonna add some uh, sea salt to that okay so our mixture looks like this all the dry ingredients so it's really acting more like a flower. And now I'm gonna mix this. I like to add also basil and cilantro to that. You can directly add to your beans or you can add to the vegetables. And I'm going to add that right now to the vegetables, vegetables because it's gonna blend it nicely. All right, so I have basil. You can use fresh or dry. And I have, dry, I have actually them both dry and cilantro. So let's add it. We can dry ingredients, we can add it all together. We love cilantro in this family, but if you like to follow the recipe, I would say probably one tablespoon each. Okay, now we're gonna add all of this here. Beautiful, it smells so great. Okay. And we're gonna put it back on and give a blend to the mixture. It's gonna become thick and wet. Let's check just to make sure it's all blended. Oh, it smells great. I like to give it just a little bit of a mixture. Oh, it's so, it smells so good, you guys. And it's a super easy recipe and kind of gives you an opportunity to have sometimes meatless dinners, right? Or meatless lunches, whatever you like. I'm going to add a little bit of water. I have like a measuring cup here, so I'm going to use half of it. Just to add it to make the mixture slightly. Great. So I'm going to take this off. want to come off today all right we're gonna add a quarter um cup of ketchup to our mixture so, here we go. my kids love spicy so i'm gonna put a couple of drops of the sriracha hot sauce and mix it with ketchup there we go just looks like this okay now the fun part, then the ketchup to this. And we're gonna mix all of this together. So it incorporates really nicely. And it's literally gonna look like a meatloaf. You see all the three colors are blending now. So they look great. Now we're gonna add this mixture. It's delicious, you guys. Took me prep time, 30 minutes. Just set your mind to that. Don't be distracted by anything. 
and you can achieve it. And it smells even better than ground beef. So here we go. And now I really wanna scrape everything off this because there's more goodness at the bottom of the blender. So let's make sure we get all of this. Beautiful. Okay. We're gonna put it at 350 for an hour to bake. If you want it a little bit longer, you can do it at 325 and a convection oven because convection oven is about 25 degree higher. So 325 will be 350. And you can put it for same thing for an hour or an hour 10. All right, so the mixture is ready. Mm, looks beautiful. And it's vegan, my friends, for people who don't eat any eggs. There is no eggs in my mixture. There you go. All right, I'm going to grab a dish and set it on so you guys can see that and put it in the oven at 350. Okay, I like to just, just put a little bit of oil to make sure it doesn't burn at the bottom. And just put it around your dish. If you have a spray bottle, you can do it with a spray bottle, your choice. I don't mind to get dirty in the kitchen. All right, you could also put parchment paper if that's your preference. Now we're gonna, we might have to make two dishes. Okay, let's see. Don't be shy to put it right in the corners. And you wanna bake it covered in the beginning for that first hour and for 10 minutes before you take it out. Like a fish, so put it for an hour and then um, set it for 50 minutes. So when it rings at 50 minutes, you can just open it up and let it crispy on top to waste that okay wow, to make it really really authentic we want some barbecue sauce on top of that and we can just do that you can make your own barbecue sauce or you can do store-bought your choice and you want to brush it You can also make your own barbecue sauce. A lot of people opt to do that. If you're short on time, you can just, like I said, do the store-bought sauce. Okay, and we need some more here. Because this smoky barbecue meatless loaf does need barbecue sauce. And just brush it, right? So make sure you guys leave a feedback once you tried it, what you think about it. Love to know that. We try to eat um, less meat throughout the week if possible, just because, because we try to use a bit of a more plant-based diet. It's also good for you, good for your heart as well, not to consume so much um, meat products. So typically for breakfast, we have um, plant-based uh, protein shakes and then um, twice a week we would do like a fish dish and then um, twice a week we'll do meat and um, sometimes my kids like upside down dinners when we call them it's like breakfast for dinner and uh, things like this all right so our mixture is ready to go into the oven you guys can have a look and we're gonna bake it at 350 and I'll show a final product when we cut into that. Okay, stay tuned. All right, I'm so excited. Our um, meatloaf is ready. And let's it up. Mmm, smells divine. Delicious. You wanna let it sit about um, 15 to 20 minutes after it's baked, just to allow it uh, for this to really set and form into a nice shape. So here, here it is. I want to show you guys. It looks beautiful. It smells delicious. And then we want to cut it. And then plate it. So while my meatloaf was getting ready, I made a nice and easy coleslaw and apple salad with some cucumbers, apples, avocado, a little bit of mango, 
shredded cabbage and I made a very simple dressing. Apple cider vinegar with some olive oil and uh, we got a bit of um, salt and pepper and uh, cumin in there as well as a spice. All right. So I cut it in the width and the length that you want to cut. It's totally up to you. Beautiful. Oh, you guys, I wish you could smell it. Okay. Now the key is to take it out. So let's see which one is the better way. Maybe I'll go from this end. I'm going to eat it so don't mind if I can reach it out with my fingers. Okay. Here we go. Like I said, I really like the fact that it's really, um, really ready. So here we go with a salad on the side. And we're ready to serve dinner. Look at this beautiful meatloaf. Delicious. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, leave us a feedback, share with your friends. We would love to know more about it. Um, try a recipe with your family, even get your kids involved in preparing that. It's actually fun steps and uh, I'll post the recipe in uh, comments. I hope to hear from you soon. Stay tuned for our next episode.